Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hard Truck Apocalypse. My name is, of course, Spark, and we have our work cut out for cut out for us today. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the map here. Uh, we have just finished up at Troitsk with our side quests, so the next stop is going to be Gogulino. After that, we're going to get uh, we're going to drive on to Zaimka and then back to South, completing, um, picking up, and completing. Hopefully, side quests along the way. Uh, that's the plan, pretty much the game plan for today's episode. Not sure how long this this is gonna this is gonna take. But hey, we're in it. We're in it to win it, or at least have fun and and enjoy the ride. All right. Fuel up. Don't need to sell those potatoes, though. Oh, I mean, we could. Oh, wait. Purchase price. Yeah. No. Not worth it. Barman Will, what you got? Hello, traveler. Do you have any work for me to do? Some local guys establishing a trade road with Zimka. Nice. That's just where I'm going. The rivals want to spoil his plan. Help him to get to his destination safely. And 270 coins are yours. I agree. Not like we have... Never done an escort quest before. Old Ben Tom, what you got? I'm an old soldier. People would shudder at the sound of my name. It's all in the past now. I'm sitting here and tell stories for money. It's ten coins for a short one. Sure. What's your truck fuel level? Alright, thanks. Thanks, tutorial man. Okay, if you stop in the middle of nowhere, you'll die. Sure, okay. Got anything better than that? Uh, 15 coins, sure. Remember, when you're surrounded by enemy cars, do not stop. Move like a crazy! <laughs> so they're gonna cut and hit you. Okay. Sure, and you got any more sage advice? 20 coins. Sure, I got money to blow. Fine. If you wanna drive fast, keep a truck on the road. Dirt and sand will slow you down greatly. Okay. Makes sense. Thanks. Uh, 25, sure. Local farmers do not understand a thing in e-commerce. You can easily buy cheap goods and sell them at double the price to further through their neighbors. We have already figured that out, but still thanks. What is it from me? You're not enough to do, to do without advice. It's alright, give me 30 coins. It's the last time I have... Oh, this better be good. Listen carefully, boy. You wasted time talking with me in this dirty bar. If you're a little, a little bit cleverer, you've already earned enough money to buy a better truck and went exploring. Well, to the device. Find a borderness. I'm that you are not a loafer after all. What? Was he of great help? <laughs> I'm not necessarily sure, but but okay. Alright. Okay. Sure. Do you have any quest? Alright, we picked up the escort quest. Uh... Alright, so we need to escort this man. Let's quick save. Uh, take a look at the journal. Ooh, okay. So we have a, a, a side quest to find the botanist. Now. Okay, I guess that was worth it. I'm not sure. But I guess it was. Jesus! You alright there, man? Sleep at the wheel? I mean, that's what you get for traveling the night. How do we switch on the headlights again? Uh, L! Well, that, that makes sense. Alright. Not that we need those to see now, but hey. Good to know. Good to know. Sociological. What's this gun he has on his truck there? I think that's kind of a shotgun or something. I'm not particularly sure. That looks menacing. That's all I'm saying. Smooth, smooth sailing so far. No betting bandits whatsoever. These are about to be the easiest 370 credits I have ever earned. Easy money. Easy money. So far, so great. Honestly. If every side quest, side quest goes this smoothly, hell. I wouldn't mind, personally. Oh, there we go. 
get ready to rumble. Oh, oh shit! That's a van. That's a van. Let's let's drive off into the great unknown here. And allow our escortee to maybe take some of the heat, or maybe not. Maybe we'll just finish him up on our on our own. There we go. Hornet. Oh, I'm not sure the level. Hey, we completed the quest somehow. Okay. Hey, you know what? This works for me. Works for me. Now, hopefully, the repairs <laughs> will. Um... Wait. There we go. Hopefully, the repairs. Will cost me less than 370 coins. Let's refuel. Oh sure, we made like 200, 240 coins on that. That wasn't so bad. All right, all right. Barlet Zeppelin, what you got for me? Trader Go Go, Go Go Trader. The traveler news? No news. Everything is a okay. Okay. Casual Baba. Fellow traveler, I see. For a mere 99 coins, I could show you the location of an ancient hospital. It probably contains tons of useful stuff. Um, sure, earn some money. Some money. Might as well spend some money, right? That's what money's for—for for spending. Uh, what I wanted to check out is there, whether there were any uh, any machine parts for sale, but that was not the case. Okay, that's fine. It's morning. Quick save. I have a new quest. Uh, find an ancient hospital. Hospital is the right place to look for medicine. Okay, interesting, interesting. So that's the botanist, and uh, the hospital is where again? Okay, so it's just down that intersection. All right. Um, I guess that's where we headed next after after we after we stopped by uh, Soph to deliver that letter or whatever it was how far they wanted to deliver wanted us to deliver I don't I don't remember who even pays attention to parents anyway parents schmerens <laughs> okay. Man, I love this soundtrack. It's nothing t too special. I don't know. Maybe that's just my nostalgia speaking. I'm not sure. But hey, it's it's a good it's a good driving music, right? Ooh, what, what's it, where does this road lead? We might want to check that out at a later date. This road, I'm not sure where to, where that leads, but hey, that should lead somewhere. Okay, so, so about that uh, thing that the tutorial guy mentioned, the trading between towns, uh, that was something that I've pointed out in the previous episode, that the prices, uh, well the thing is, basically, you can just buy wood in one city, uh, travel to another, sell, wood, sell the wood, buy some potatoes, drive back, sell the potatoes, buy some wood, and just do it back and forth until we get enough money or maybe uh, the cities run out of stock because I do believe that there is a limited stock of supplies in every city but you can make some pretty good moolah on that if I do say so myself so that might be something that I'll uh, consider doing between the episodes because we honestly you don't need to see me driving between uh, the cities back and forth Okay. South. Refuel. Oh, they ha they do have machine parts for sale. And just you can just basically buy a default van, uh, default van for just fourteen hundred. Okay, it's not too much. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. We got they got a mule as well as a Scorpio. Scorpio seems. Incredibly expensive. 
There's also an excellent and rusty version, but I, I don't see any point going for the rusty version, to be honest. It seems much worse in pretty much every way. So the Scorpio is what we should be aiming, aiming for. Um, there we go, that's nice, handy comparison. A uh, bit more weight, but much better speed and engine power. It also gets some much better armor and piercing damage resistance. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'm, I'm guessing weight might have something to do with ramming damage. I'm not sure that if that's a thing in the game. We might have to test that out at some point. Um, okay, what about the calves? We got Grob, we got Cascade. Excellent. I'm not sure what the difference between these two is. Body space 24 against our. against our what now? 20, right? Yeah. Oh, that's much better. We should really gather. I'm gonna buy uh, a Grob. First chance I can, unless Cascade is better. Um, no, Rob is much better. Okay, so I'm gonna buy Grob next chance I get because it, it will give us four more uh, four more slots. In fact, if I yeah, there we go. So so this means we're gonna be able to fit six items in our uh, in our uh, in uh, in, uh, in the cargo hold. Assuming, of course, that said, there we go. Uh, so some potatoes. The said items are uh, two by two. Okay, barman, what you got? Any news? Everything's a okay. Okay, Sergo the trader. Lucas here. I hope you've got some business proposal. Good day, sir. Aren't you Sergo by chance? I'm, oh, there. Yeah, that's, of course. That's the guy. We should deliver the merchandise to, you. or the letter. I'm not sure. I am Sergo, you must be Peter's son. You've grown up since I last saw you. It's my first trip. Shall we talk business? Let us take a look at the merchandise. Well, I'll give you a hundred coins. I mean, sure. That's what the father told me, I suppose. And you got anything else for me? Good merchandise as usual. Are we secretly drug dealers? <laughs> um Bar Lost Journey. That's ominous. Uh, Farmer Dick, what you got? Young man, could you please do me a small favor? I mean, it depends. I have an important business offer to Sergo, but I didn't expect to see him today, so I left all necessary papers at home. What exactly do you need from me, though? Please bring me to the filling station as fast as possible so that I could collect all documents and make an offer to Sergo. You will not have to wait for me. I can find a car at my neighbor's. Um, an escort? With a time limit? I mean, sure. No, uh, let's just get in. Whatever. Let's take a look at the map where we should No, that this can be right. Which farmer want me? Oh, just this gas station down here. That's right. So he did tell us to hurry up, so that's what I'm gonna do. A little bit of a uh, sideways maneuver. But hey, there's money in it for me. And what I wouldn't do for money. Besides, it's a short trip. So we'll see what this guy has for us in store. And then, I guess we're gonna go either to the hospital or maybe to the botanist. I'm not sure what's closer. There it is. There's the gas station. We made it. You could drive. What? You. That's. You know what? Your parents named you Dick for a reason. Fifty coins. What if? What a bastard. True. He, true to his name. A dick. Wow. That was barely worth it. Quick save. 50 fucking coins, I can't believe it. 
I wonder if uh, I had a better uh, a better cabin cabin with a better max speed I could uh, maybe I could have driven him faster maybe that would have helped I don't know I'm not about to reload and redo that quest it's a shame though something that I should keep in mind in the future Whoa, look at that thing, it's speed 5,000 HP! That freaking dozer is a mean machine, let me tell you that. Hot damn, okay, where are we going anyway? Um, yeah, let's go to the hospital first, sure. To the hospital! Take me to the hospital so far so good not a whole lot of action admittedly but hey that's what trucking is all about oh Here what's you this are. now don't you know that every new trader must pay me taxes what the hell well I mean I asked for action and I guess the game is supposed is gonna deliver now also you look suspicious as like that revolutionary man we've met earlier are you two brothers by any by any chance no are you crazy I've never seen such a son that is incorrect I do have over a thousand credits in my position well, presently you pay you live don't pay. But I guess the game is not gonna give me a chance to pay them. Not that I was about to pay him anyway. But hey. Well. Oh Jesus. Felix will find you anywhere. Retreat. Um. Okay. All right. That was strange. Saved by the power of the plot, I assume. Not before he shut me up real nice. God damn it! Seems like all I'm doing is repairing my stupid truck. Whatever. Uh, I mean, I should have shot though his stupid lackey lackeys first. I'm not sure. Maybe the game would have let me to let me blow them up. Maybe something would have dropped from them. Something to pay for my repairs. But in any case, we are headed towards the hospital, I assume. Not that this sign is of any help whatsoever. I am noticing these strange frame drops and freezes every once in a while. And uh, I'm not sure there's, if there is anything that I can do about them. I will try, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so it's this 30 coins and medicaments So it's this all about not something that I can put in my trunk, but Maybe that's a quest item or something There we go quest items box of medicine. I found at the ruins of a hospital Okay So I'm assuming this will come in handy later. Let's do a quick sweep uh, to make sure that there are no items around here. It'd be a shame to leave them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Picked up some wood. Picked up some wood. That's something. Okay, so I guess uh, with this done, we are now off to the botanist. Uh, quests. There we go. Yeah, yeah, just straight up find uh, find the botanist. And after that, I guess we'll just return to father. And that will probably be the end of this episode. Unless, of course, something happens to us in route on route to. Botanist, but hey, I'm not the one to know about that or anything. 
And this is not me insinuating that I know some that I do, do I am genuinely unaware. Because um, and allow me to clarify that I have played this game and completed it uh, either once or maybe even twice before. That was a long time in the past, and I only remember some general things, and not a whole lot about the plot. So this will be interesting for both uh, me and you, the viewer. And if you, the viewer, uh, have anything to add to this playthrough, maybe you have some ideas on how to improve that, maybe you don't enjoy me driving around uh, as much, maybe you'll be uh, happier if I cut, maybe cut down on, uh, on uh, the driving parts, which are the boring parts where nothing happens. Although I'm not uh, presently sure how I can do that in what fashion. But still, if you have uh, any suggestions or, or uh, propositions for me, don't don't be shy. Don't be, drop me a line in the comments. I'll be sure to keep an eye on that. What's this landscape here? Oh Jesus! Probably don't want to go down there. Down in this crevasse. Yeah, that's death. That's death, and this is a bandit. What seems to be stuck down there? Your ass is grass. Yep, your ass is grass. Yep. There we go. Pretty much the worst bandit ever. In the history of mankind, but hey. That's fine. Now where are you hiding? There you are. Nasty chinch. Die. Give me loot. There we go. Some potatoes. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and this. Uh, yes, nice. This is the road at least to the bottom nest. To the fabled man. The Flora Scholar. One could call him. Jesus, the frame drops. Not sure what's up with that. Hey, what does this look? Greetings, traveler. I hate sand. It gets everywhere. <laughs> I sit here all day cultivating plants. It grew lately. You need to be created a place in the new greenhouse. Please bring me some medicine! That's right. Let's go. We did it. And so that I could save my beloved plants. There was an old hospital nearby. Hell yeah. And a reward you get old weaponry. Nice. While digging around, um, what I have found. I got some medicine in my trunk. Quest has been completed. Got 80 coins as well as some goods. I'm gonna drop the wood because it's not in high demand in south, which cannot be said for potatoes. The same cannot be said for potatoes, I should say. Oh, is that some loot down there? Hell yeah, it is. Okay. So the plan is gonna be for us to. I'm gonna grab this loot, and then I am going to go back to self. Oh. Probably using this road so that we can unveil some more of the map along the way. This should be the road. Some more potatoes. Ooh. Let's drop the hornet. I think the potatoes sell for more. Okay. Yeah, so, um. What was I gonna say? Yeah, this should be the road, uh. leading north from. north from south. <laughs> north from south. Yeah, th there it is right there. So, we're just gonna, um. 
we're just gonna sell the stuff we just got from the quest. Uh, it's our quest reward, and then make our way back home to Glohoya. Sounds like a plan. Ooh, and maybe, maybe we have enough uh, money now to get um, a new cab. So let's let's figure this out now. Here we are. Man, the music is really nice. Uh, sell the potatoes, sell the hornet. Uh, let's not sell Spectre just yet. Let's take a look at the cabins. Um, so we are gonna be aiming for Scorpio, but... Uh, unless... Mule has better weapon slots. No. Ooh, that's that's actually pretty cool. So take a look at this. Besides the fact that this uh, one has different enhancement slots, uh, it also has a three-directional uh, weapon slot, as opposed to a four-directional on our current cabin. Which uh, and this means, of course, that we are not going to be able to shoot backwards using our gun, which is a thing to consider. Not something that I gonna be too concerned with I guess but still it's nothing to consider interesting interesting uh, do we have enough money to buy Rob hmm. yeah okay so we need to repair the structure as well as the cabin don't need to repair the body because we're I am gonna go into just straight up buy this grob. I'm not sure what the difference is between these two, so I'm gonna buy a better one, just in case. Yeah. Oh, and we're gonna be selling our old one. Here. Along with the Spectre, I suppose. And we can quick move this back and forth. What a nice interface! Okay, so um, we're gonna be selling. We're gonna be selling the Spectre. We're gonna be selling our default cab, and we're gonna be buying a better cab. Bodies to um, no. Let's just to be safe. Let's move the PKT. I oh, know it doesn't change the value. Okay, so it should be safe. Hopefully, right? Yes. Okay. So now we have uh, have enough space for six items in our in the back. Yep. No. No news. No nothing. There we go. Looking better now. I'm liking the look of our truck more. So there we go. there we are. Made some progress. Got ourselves a different uh, different uh, cab. I keep calling it cab, and though I'm not sure if that's. Uh, really what you should call it. I know that the front is the cabin, that's obvious, but hell. It's probably something that I should figure out before recording next time. Okay. So let's make our way back back to Glukhoya and uh, wrap up this main quest of ours. We'll get, and then we'll get uh, whatever new task our father has for us and uh, and uh, 
probably finish the episode there. Seems good. And then, uh, before starting uh, next episode, I'm probably gonna... I'm probably going to do some runs back and forth between the villages, just to basically build up a reserve. Because as it stands, we do have a thousand credits, but that's not too much. Oh, maybe maybe we'll uh, take a look at this dam next. That seems interesting. Seems like a lo like a location we could be interested in. Let's quick save. Road tripping with my two favorite allies. Oh. oh shit. Um. Okay. So maybe our father won't be giving us giving us any more uh, sage advice, considering that uh, the roof of his house is literally on fire. Okay. This doesn't look good. Wow. This doesn't look good at all. What the fuck happened here? Oh god, I'm sh I'm sure he's fine. It's just a bad fire texture, right? Ooh, that's awkward. Yeah, that's that that's bad music. I can't believe my eyes. Everybody's dead. What monster could do it. Jesus. A plus voice acting it really makes you feel for the guy. There's only one thing I can do. Oh god, Revenge. that little... I will find you oh, that girl. little noise seals the deal. Yes, I will find you, murderer. You, you are a murderer. You have killed my father. Get the motive and the means to do it. He won't get away with I mean... We are... You are jumping to conclusions here, buddy. He does have a motive, a motive, although I'm not sure that this guy really knows who we are, or what we do, or where we live, or anything, basically. I think he's just a road bandit, uh, who got a, got a stroke of bad luck with us, but hey, I guess, I guess that's our ne next objective. <laughs> Avenge the father's death, straight up. Find Felix and Sal. Wow. Okay, so maybe I won't be do doing any runs between the cities, between the episodes. Maybe we'll just uh, pick up uh, right from here next time. And uh, yeah. Wow. What a thrilling conclusion that was to this uh, otherwise quite uh, peaceful episode. Hell, man, that was. Yeah, that was awkward. Everybody's straight up dead in our hometown. That's... yeah, that's not very good. Is it? Uh, and it's up to us to, fig to figure out who killed them. Alright, interesting, interesting. Uh, well, in any case, thank you guys for watching this episode of Hard Truck Apocalypse. We'll be, we'll be back with a vengeance tomorrow. Uh, but for now, that is it. My name has been Spark. Uh, and I shall see you tomorrow. Take care.